WWE. WWE airs the promo package after New Day segment. No opening pyro. Where and when did New Day get those refreshments? Enzo accidentally dropped his microphone. My name is Enzo Amore. This is Big Cass. Just in case you forgot what our names were. I love these catchphrases, but does this word soft have a different meaning than the original soft? Black and white. Introducing On Their Way to the Ring. On Their Way to the Ring? The Vaude villains are already in the ring. Those jabs were obviously not effective. Now, one match away. Oh, man. Since this is a serious situation, I'm just gonna shut the fuck up and move on without sending this out of respect for Enzo. Payback is presented by Tap Out. Skip. Kevin's ongoing random feud with Michael Cole that makes no sense at all. You got us good. Shut up. Kevin telling the referee to shut up was hilarious as fuck. Oh, still not done. Done. Still going. The referee counted up to four and should have said five way before Sammy let go of Kevin. Sammy should have been disqualified there. Well, the referee understands how personal this matchup is, John. Oh, that didn't mean you allow him to break the rules. JBL, stop saying what I'm supposed to say. Kevin Owens straight boot to the yeah. face. You mean there's such a thing as a gay boot to the face? 30 minutes into this pay-per-view, I actually thought we weren't going to see any trends. How we've all been disappointed. Oh, oh man! How does anyone survive that without injury? Owens looking for a power bomb uh, the end. Kevin somehow survived that without injury. That is a I give props to these two for putting on a great match. Post-match beatdown. Looks like they found Molina's old red carpet backstage. It's Maurice, not Maurice. Who gives a shit about Hulu? Appreciate that, John. Jeez, moves like that give me no choice. It almost sounds like you're trying to convince yourself that you're a good commentator, but everyone knows that's not the case. Kevin would be great at CinemaSins 2 expansion. Who cares what's trending? Oh, wow. That is complete power. Vertical super. Tweets. What? I know I'm going to get hate for this, but Sammy got beat fair and square. Why can't he get over it? It happens. Grabbing the tights for leverage on victory. We are still awaiting more info from the medical center here tonight. Michael got more info on Enzo's injury, but he keeps reading the papers that were already there to begin with. I've been wondering for a while on why Chris's trunks say goat. I mean, what does that even mean? He's not Daniel Bryan. Watch out. Bat table. Jericho looking for a follow up. And Jericho. Dean was watching Chris the whole time and could have done anything to counter Chris's baseball slide, but he just lets Chris take this hit. Right here in this building. Dean, you can't pin him on the floor. Running away on your knees. The referee hasn't disqualified Chris for putting his hands on him. He's killing me. He's killing me? That's the lamest excuse of the entire world. And you're supposed to be a veteran. Six-time world champion, nine-time intercontinental champion, seven tag team titles. You're like a parrot. John calls Byron a parrot for listing Chris's accomplishments, even though John himself constantly reminds us of Brock Lesnar's accomplishments. Who's the parrot now? Trying to watch the match here. Stop distracting me with tweets. The problem is when you're in that, and I have been in that, you can't breathe. Yes, you can. I've been in that hole before. It hurts like hell, but you can breathe. Oh. How does anyone fall for that anymore? Like, seriously. Jericho's got it in good. Does this count as tapping out? I mean, I know Dean was hitting himself in the face, but he was doing it in a tapping motion. Guess the referee didn't see it. And Jericho with an injury. Dean could have easily ducked that as he was watching Chris the whole time. Come on, ref! The referee's behind you, not in front of you. Mauro Ranallo is not at the commentary table. Does Charlotte have her own gimmick yet? No? Not even during what we call the new era? Also, Charlotte's still wearing Ric Flair's robe. Previously on WWE. It's Charlotte kicking the rope wouldn't have done any damage to Natalia at all. For one thing, Natalia was going under the second rope and Charlotte kicked the second rope up. So instead of stunning Natalia, I just allowed her to get a better entrance to the ring. I don't think that knee was even close enough to be convincing. What Charlotte has been to this division. Whatever. Copyright infringement. Charlotte. I think Rick knew I was sending this and told me to keep my mouth shut. Nope. 
Brett realizes that Natalia is in trouble here. No, he's thinking to himself, four out of ten. Oh, oh look at oh, it. Shoulders down. The referee said two, but his hand never hit the mat. Oh! Man, the ropes are really the villains of this night. Charlotte committing more copyright infringement during the replay. Charlotte with a sharpshooter. Insult to injury. Wait, wait a minute. What the you have got to be fucking kidding me. Is it just because Bret Hart is at ringside? I swear, this really pissed me off more than you could ever know. Ripping off the Montreal screw job at the hands of the copyright infringement chick in front of Bret. Major punishment here. Ten cents for Charlotte being the one doing it. Another ten cents for Charlotte using the same sharpshooter that Sean used on Bret 19 years ago. Five cents because of no originality. And finally, fifty cents for copying the Montreal screw job. Thank you. But even though this was punishment to Charlotte, I still have no choice but to say copyright infringement to Natalia. John, you saw that with your plainest day. Look, that's just certainly what it looks like. We don't know for sure. John Blind Layfield. No I'm totally fine with the fans singing along the entrance themes, but the sin here is they are all off sync to the music, which makes it annoying. Under the authority's leadership, we saw the biggest WrestleMania in WWE's history. But the authority wasn't in charge by WrestleMania 17. Shane McMahon thinks that he can run day mon Monday Night Raw. Ha ha, you failed. And that leaves only one choice. Teddy Long? Come on, you lost the match to The Undertaker. You shouldn't even be standing in the ring. If I recall, you said nothing about Shane having to win the match in order to gain control of Raw back when you first made the match official. You just said he had to compete, which he did. And you both are running Monday Night Raw. I know the segment was about who gains control of WWE Raw, but this was 20 minutes too long. Skip the damn pre-show panel. Including Raw, SmackDown, and all pay-per-views will remain PG. No! Wow, two pay-per-views in a row, Michael messes up Roman's name. We went from Rowan Waynes to Roman Brains. There's the new trend. Hashtag Roman Brains. More trends. Roman Reigns looks to back in the New Day chant copyright infringement. So much slow movements. We are already six minutes into this match, and so far all we've seen was a couple of shoulder tackles, a few hits, and AJ hanging out on the outside of the ring while slowly approaching the ring. And he did that more than once. He took everything Brock Lesnar had. And by the end of that match a couple years ago at WrestleMania. That was last year, not a couple of years ago. Styles, Styles, oh! <laughs> the ring, but Roman Reigns, the champion, is going to be counted out. The match ending in countouts and disqualifications just to give this event more time. Also, this match had Roman retain the championship three freaking times. But in the new era, that is not how a championship match is going to be defined. Even though one of our title matches just ended in a copy of the Montreal Screwjob about an hour ago. Roman Reigns! Roman clearly hit AJ in the gut, not down below. And normally when superstars fake themselves being hit in the groin, it's so they can win the match and save their title. Yet AJ was not even the champion, so this looks like AJ didn't even want to be champion in the first place. Roman's on the move! Roman's on the move! Reigns flies! Wow. I would admit that was pretty amazing. Styles wasn't there. Byron's high pitched what? I fully support your decision. Because us fighting against each other got thrown out the window within seconds of us being in charge together. 